Well, the need has been increasing as the economies grow. Uh, the deficit on infrastructure is quite considerable. It was estimated until two years ago at about 90 billion deficit in terms of financing in every year. Now we are talking about 170 billion a year because the, the sizes of the economies are growing. Since the beginning of this century, Africa has more or less doubled its GDP. And therefore, you know, the characteristics of the economic structure are quite different from where we started in 2000. Africa is trying to make sure that its investments on infrastructure are also climate neutral and therefore needs to have more green financing and infrastructures that are sustainable. And that adds to the pressure. You know, Africa is a latecomer. It's just not going to be able to sustain an accelerated industrialization process without going through pollution, through carbon emissions, and all the association that people normally do uh, with the manufacturing. But in fact, industrialization is more than manufacturing. It's about bringing the economy to modernity. It's about bringing the economy to the industrial era type of relations and modes of production. And Africa badly needs that because its informality is quite vast and most of its exports are on commodities and therefore not really with value addition, not creating enough jobs, not being able to absorb its growing uh, middle class uh, requirements, its urbanization, and obviously its demographic uh, growth. What explains this need for Africa to industrialize is to create jobs that are going to be uh, compatible with its uh, demographic uh, profile. And that basically cannot be done without infrastructure. So I can detect, even with the most reluctant donors and the most reluctant economic partners of Africa, a change of attitude and much more interest in on infrastructure, particularly after China has been much more ahead of the curve in terms of providing this type of support.